Hello beautiful people, losing Drea here. And today was my first day at the gym. I need to go to sleep. It's like uh, two something. Let me see if I can have my clock here. It is... I don't know what time it is. Yeah. This thing is being a pain in the butt. Anyways, yeah, it's about two something in the afternoon. And um, I did a little keek video, but they're only 30 second videos, so it cut me off. I was trying to show how many miles and all that that I did. I did 62 point some odd minutes on the treadmill today, and that was 328, almost 329 uh, calories that I had burned. And um, I walked almost three miles. But then after that, we went to Walmart and we did shopping and we walked around the store. And, um, and then after the store, we, uh, I came back home, I did a couple things, and my girlfriend, my very best girlfriend, who's like my sister, came up, and, um, she wanted me to take her to the store so she didn't have to drive her car. So, I did. And, anyways, long story short, for the first time ever... I actually got over 10,000 steps on my pedometer. My kitty cat's here. Let's say, say hi, kitty cat. She wants to play with the phone. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, it, it's showing it backwards because it's just dumb like that. But um, yeah, so I got 10,000. 699 steps so far on my pedometer, and it's only two something in the afternoon. Of course, I'm going to sleep because I got to work tonight. But I wanted you to show you the little um, the little guy jumping up and down, which is hilarious. Okay, look at the little guy jumping up and down. See him? So yeah, um, that's like saying yay because you want to do at least 10,000 steps per day. So, um, that's 4.7 miles, 433, uh, calories, and 30.2 grams of something. I don't know. This actually says it's 417, but I know it's not. It's 317. Um, when the clock's changed, I don't know how to change the time on this. So, but yeah, so I'm really proud of myself. I'm going to aim to do uh, the same thing tomorrow, somehow, some way, and um, also Friday. And Friday, I start with the trainer, so I'm really looking forward to that. And yeah, obviously, I'm wide awake, even though I only had a couple hours sleep. I got off at 4, I didn't get to bed to almost 5, and I had to turn around and wake up at around 7. So whatever little bit of sleep I've had from that time to the time I got up, that's what it is. Tomorrow, I believe we have to go to the gym again at 8 o'clock in the morning. The reason I'm going that early is Hubby has physical therapy from his work-related accident. Um, just so happens to be at the same place. It's a uh, place for orthopedics therapy, but it's also a gym. And it's a well-known, very good place here in town. And when I did a, a price comparison between Maxed Out Gym and them... Um, they really aren't open any different times and whatnot, and they're actually like almost $10 a month cheaper. So, and it comes with the trainer. Maxed Out was not going to give me a trainer, even though they were $10 more. So I was very happy to sign up there and go. And, um, you know, there's a lot of people with canes and wheelchairs and oxygen and stuff. And I'm like, okay, that, that's enough to get me humble. Because, you know, my only problem is weight. And, you know, if I think I can't do anything, I need to look at those people and say, well, they can do it. And if they can do it, why can't I do it, too? So, it's very humbling. And, you know, I can't believe that after not having been to the gym, Hubby and I was figuring it out since my niece was, my niece Kim, I think it was her eighth birthday. And I, we want to say it was either 2000 or 2002. We can't really figure out the exact date, but that's how long it's been since we had gone, well, I had gone to a gym outside of going the couple of times that um, 
I had showed during the Downsizing Duos Challenge where I basically was working out on Hubby's um, membership. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I wanted to share that with you all. I know that I uploaded some stuff on Keek. Um, it was supposed to also share it through Facebook. It got cut off. One of them, I wanted to say that it was be lean in 2013, um, and it got, and it cut it off, so, um, and yeah, oh, and last night, I wanted to say last night, we went to the store, and they had all this workout, um, stuff, <coughs> I hope I don't get sick, pants, workout pants, and jacket, shirts, and like hoodies, on sale, so, um, hubby bought me a bunch of stuff, I got like, two workout jackets, a shirt, and two or three pairs of workout pants. So I'm like really, really excited about that. And today when I went to Walmart, I bought a couple of hand towels that were on sale for 97 cents. Um, you don't want to go to the workout aisle of Walmart to buy towels that are made particularly for working out. They were 9 and $10. And I'm not going to pay 9 and $10 for a small hand towel just to wipe my brow and keep myself from sweating all over their equipment. Um, 97 cents was on sale. Typically, they're about a buck 97. You shouldn't be paying any more than three bucks for a towel. Um, if you need one to go to the gym, my particular gym requires that you work out with one or that you not work out at all. And they also require us to clean off the machines after we're done, uh, using them with each machine that we use. So, um, I'm going to wait until Friday when I go to training with the trainer uh, to find out exactly what she wants me to do. Meanwhile, I'm just going to walk on the treadmill. So my plan for tomorrow is to do the exact same thing I did today and walk for at least an hour on the treadmill and not work out with any kind of weights or resistance or any of that kind of stuff yet. Be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you. Be the boss of your own loss if you're on a weight loss journey. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Good night. I'm going to sleep.